Hi and welcome. Today we are going to take a list of decimal numbers such as the ones on the board here and we are going to find a method for putting them in order starting with either the largest or the smallest. And I think the best way to do this is to work through a couple of typical exam type questions. <laughs> So here's our first question and it simply says here are three lengths 1.07 meters 2.45 meters and 2.9 meters and it simply asks us to put them in order starting with the largest now the way to do this is first of all put them into a column so that we can make the comparisons more easily so i'm just going to put them with the decimal points in a line down the page so that we have the three measurements all lined up. Now, the first step is if you have a space here, at this point it's a good idea to put a zero on so that we have something to compare with. Let's have a look at putting these three in order then. The first thing that we do is we have a look at the whole numbers, which we know is this column here. So we have a one, a two, and a two. So we know that the largest number must be one of these with two as a whole number. So to decide which of the two is largest, we move on to the next column. In this case, we have 2.4 and we have 2.9. Now nine is bigger than four. Therefore, this bottom one is the largest number. It does not matter about the five on the end here. That is a much smaller number. We are simply looking at this column. Nine is bigger than four. So our largest number in this list is 2.9 meters. The second largest must be the middle one because it also has two on the beginning. So that becomes 2.45 meters. The smallest one therefore is the only one that we have left, which is the 1.07 meters and there is our answer be very careful you are only looking at the next column the one after it does not make a difference to the column that you are looking at and if you want to include the zero on there then you can do so but because it's right on the end it doesn't need to be there and here's another example and this is where we have to read the question carefully because in this case it's asking us to put these numbers in order again, only we are starting with the smallest. So we need to do this in exactly the same way. We have 3.8, we have 4.4, we have 3.08, we have 4.7 and 4.75. And again, just to make things a little easier as we go along, it is worth filling the zeros in once we have them in the column. Now this time we are looking for the lowest number first. So again, we are looking at the first column, the whole numbers. In this case, we have three, four, three, four, and four. So one of the threes must be the lowest number. Therefore, because they are both three, we look at the next column. This one has 3.8 this one 3.0 again ignore the next column it is a far smaller number so 3.0 is smaller than 3.8 so 3.08 is the smallest number don't forget we're looking for the smallest number first that's used that one up and the other one starting with 3 is the 3.80 we now look at the fours. So what do we have? 4.4, 4.7, and 4.7. So the 4.4 is lower than the two 4.7s. So 4.4 must be our next lowest number. That uses that one up. Now we're left with the bottom two. They are both 4.7, so we have to go to the third column in this case and we have 4.70 and 4.75 0 is smaller than 5 so 4.70 is next 
and 4.75 is the last number on our list because it's the largest. Of course, you can always put them in order from the largest first and then turn the list upside down because, of course, they are going from the smallest that way but the largest that way. A quick summary then, the first thing we did was put the numbers into a column with the decimal points all lined up and we filled in the gaps at the end with zeros so all the numbers were the same length. Then we compared the largest column, the whole numbers, and we put them in order depending on whether you want to start with the largest or the smallest. If we found any of the same, we go to the next column on and we look at those and put those in order and if that column has some that are the same we repeat that by going to the next column again until we've got the numbers all sorted in the correct order. I hope you found that useful. If you have, please do hit the subscribe button and feel free to look at some of my other videos. I'm going to put a link to one at the side here and hopefully I'll see you again. Thank you.